biggest game of the season for these guys, the Whitby Warriors. It's a matter of being down 3-1 in the series or all tied up at two apiece. They get it going early on. Ryan Keenan on the fly takes the pass here and squeezes it past Quinton Martin for a 1-0 lead. The reply from Brampton is former Green Gale Zach Hairwires. His back pass finds Phil Caputo and that's an easy one for him from close range. Luke Keenan sets up Ryan Keenan. He unloads a bomb that rockets to the back of the net and the young fans in attendance on a Friday night, they are into this game. Before the period is out, Riley O'Connor, his pass is going to hit Adam Weidman, but it falls to Bennett Drake and he converts. That's going to make it 4-1 to one through the first period of play. Into the second now, Jordy Jones-Smith picks off a pass. He'll have 180 feet of floor to think about what he wants to do. Elects to go five hole and five hole means 6-1 lead. Back to Ryan Keenan now, and oh my, he's got the shot working tonight. Just blows it through Martin. The reply is just under a minute later. Hairwire's working through traffic, bobbing and weaving. He is going to pick the corner on Jason Weber. But the Warriors will take a five-goal lead to the room after 40 minutes, thanks to this shot over the shoulder from O'Connor on Martin. Third period Excelsior's break in, Jeff Teat. He's had the hot hand in this series, getting it done again. The first of two in the period for him. Austin Shanks has stopped in close, but circles the net where Bennett Drake finds him all alone, and he will score. He had three goals on the night. The defense really coming up big in game number four, holding Brampton to five goals. Jason Weber, solid when called upon in goal. It's a 10-5 win for the Warriors. That ties the series at two games apiece, and nobody panicked when being down 0-2. A lot of the players on this team that were with the squad last year drawing on their experience in the final against Six Nations. Yeah, we lost uh, a lot of the guys last year, but we're looking like the same team, and, and we really feel like we got a chance, and we're just going to battle it out and get going. I think we're, like, it's at a high level, but I think it's even getting higher because even last year we came from an 0-2 start against Six Nations and it's kind of the same route. A little different, I think. All the older guys are pa passing on the knowledge to the younger guys and I think that will catch on really good. 